Now, um, hello guys, this is Alex from Bimos. I'm just making a quick video here to explain you what's the problem with computers. I mean, uh, this is a uh, like for all computers, this is all you know, old stuff. It happens all the time. I see it. I'm like, a, like a you know, people get flu and the computers get this, uh, this kind of stuff all the time. So you have to kind of take care of it if you don't want to kind of buy a new one, you know, because it's kind of you know. So this is a ventilator, this is a radiator, it cools down the processor, which is here. I took out the, the cooling mechanism, this is a heat sink here, okay? And, and this is what we found in this computer, which is kind of, okay, usually don't, you don't get that much, but this is a lot, this is a lot, huh? so it's kind of funny uh, because, you know, you see, this is on the other side, by the way. Uh, it was it's like that so you don't see it you have to take this part out you know just two screws or something like that but you know this with this on this is dust this is accumulated dust uh, with this uh, dust inside your computer this much dust in inside your computer your computer will not be able to um, uh, cool uh, properly so it will overheat the processor which uh, eventually dies or the, the, the graphic chip this uh, particular model here has an AMD and doesn't have a heatsink so it's cool but still I mean if you have that much you'll uh, dust in your computer you'll not hear your um, um, computer uh, relaxed it will always go uh, and sucking up a lot of energy uh, slow computing uh, computer will uh, restart or shut down uh, stuff like that so open up the computer type your uh, particular model on YouTube and see uh, this assembly and uh, just take this uh, cat out of your computer and also what I recommend I recommend while you're doing this because you know you just open it up um, and then just killed a lot of time doing that because it takes a little bit of time just take some thermal paste this is thermal paste it's it's a syringe like that and it's full of um, a chemical component that you can put here you know you just clean this with isopropyl alcohol the, the on top of the processor you will see uh, um, this this thermal component and the processor will touch the other side of the heat sink so you clean both parts so you clean uh, just to be explained to you okay uh, you'll clean here you make it really shiny with isopropyl alcohol and a q-tip okay and and you clean this part here and you apply new thermal paste so the heat transfer will be uh, better a lot better between the processor and the heat sink and uh, you know you will hear your computer a lot uh, more relaxed you'll hear the fan go woo and then stops so a fan should not go more than I don't know a minute uh, if it's really hot outside a minute and a half and it should stop and uh, it should uh, start up again so it should be on and off and on and off but if you have that much dust inside your computer your uh, the, the fan the, the ventilator in your uh, your computer will never ever stop it will just go from when from the moment to switch it on to the moment to switch it off it will go and then it will heat up like crazy so you have to improve this some of the computers they have uh, an issue with the uh, cooling so you know it's it's a uh, engineering uh, defect I heard about computers that by default they will overheat like crazy but you know if your computer when you bought it new didn't do that I mean you, you should you should kind of um, do this cleaning up and then you will see that you have a lot better uh, more performance from the computer uh, it will hit a lot less and then you will be a lot happier and you're not going to spend another like I don't know 500 600 uh, euros or or uh, dollars on a new computer it's fun to have a new computer but when you can save yours you know it's better to 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 preserve huh. we're on sale now so uh, you can come to BMOS and have this done if you're in Belgium or can send it to us um, and then we, we also do sales so we can do this for you no problem 
but if you prefer to do it yourself um, you know um, subscribe to my channel message me uh, and then I will I will send you a link on your disassembly uh, for your particular model you have to tell me the, the model that you have and then uh, I'll tell you if it's simple or complicated where to watch out and stuff like that but anyway if you take this cat out of the computer you will see the difference <laughs> um, yeah Again, uh, subscribe and uh, like this uh, video if you, if you enjoyed it. But, uh, you know, take this out of your computer. This was amazing. When I saw this, I said, oh, I have to do a video. But, you know, I've never seen that much. You know, I've seen a lot. But this is ridiculous. Anyway, uh, have a nice day. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.